Hi, this is Cypher117 here, doing a tutorial on how to correctly compile texture packs. So if you look over here, I've got this uh, pack called correct.zip and this one called incorrect. Now incorrect, it doesn't work. It's actually supposed to be the same pack as this one, but because it was incorrectly compiled, unless you're using a texture patcher, um, it's not going to work. It's just got the gray image, there's no text, and it reverts everything to default. Just the same as default, as you can see. Um, but this one is correctly compiled, and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to this page in the Minecraft forums. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and this is a texture pack file guide, and it's got a list of everything you can put inside your texture pack. And so these are all the images or text or whatever that you can change about the game. Uh, you don't have to use all of them when creating your texture pack. If it looks a little confusing, don't worry. Most texture packs only use the terrain.png, and that's all the blocks in the game. Um, but there's lots of other stuff you can change as well, like art, that's the paintings. Um, but like I said, you don't have to use everything. One thing your pack is going to need, if you want it to look nice, is the pack.png. So that's the icon that's displayed um, in the texture pack selection window. And the pack.txt, uh, that's the text below the icon. So you see, your, see here, made using various resources, get owned, because it's awesome. Um, so this, as well as being a list of all the stuff you can put in your texture pack, it's also in the correct order. Now, what happens normally um, when what people do is they find a texture pack they want to change, uh, they drag it onto the desktop or whatever, they unzip it, and so they get the file, open it up, change whatever's inside, and then they turn it back into a zip file. So I'll just hit compress, and uh, it's gone over here, it's called correct dot two, which is actually incorrect. Um, if I put it back in the texture packs folder, there you go, correct two um, is not correct. So what it did is archive everything in alphabetical order, which is wrong. So you're going to want to go back to that link and look at the order here, because that's important. Now you're going to need to use some sort of um, zip creator file, mine's actually called zipcreator.jar, I'll put a link in the description. This is Mac only, you can use WinRAR or 7-zip on the PC, I've been told. Um, so if someone could just comment telling me that's worked or whatever, or if there's any problems. Um, so you're going to want to find your texture pack file. Uh, just give me a minute to find this. And your Cypher's prototype. And you're going to want to select everything put everything inside the, um, the zip file that you're going to create and you, you're just going to want to select everything um, which you want to put inside your texture pack uh, in the correct order according to that web page. So pack, p pack PNG, pack TXT, particles PNG, terrain PNG, blah 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 blah, all, all in the order. So what I'm doing is I'm holding command on the Mac, it'll be something else on the PC, and just clicking on them like so, and that you'll see they're stacking up here. Terrain.png, armor, art, all the way down for everything I want to put inside my texture pack. There's some other files in this folder, but they're not for my texture pack, they're just other files. I'll miss them out. Um, so I click add, and here we go, they're all in, in the correct order. So here's the separate files, here's the armor folder, and then inside the armor folder is all these files. Here's the art folder, inside it. Um, I'm just going to click save as, and this will be called correct, I told you so, click save. Uh, now it should have saved it inside Cypher's prototype, wherever that's gone. Open up where this file will save to, here it is. I'm going to drag it into my texture pack folder, I've made an alias on the desktop. Um, go back to Minecraft, on PC for putting your texture pack in, you just click open texture pack folder and it'll open a new window, you put it in there. On Mac that doesn't actually work, the button's broken, so you're going to want to go to finder, your user, I'm called Tom, so it's Tom, uh, library, application support, scroll down until you see Minecraft, and inside here we have texture packs and you can just drag it in here, but like I said I've got my shortcut on the desktop. Anyway back to Minecraft, and um, there you go, correct, I told you so, it's all working. Just jump into single player to give you a quick preview of what my pack looks like. 
Um, I'll also put a link for my pack in the description. Like I said, it's mostly painterly. There's some other assets from Modern Craft, um, Lucid's, or sorry, Montrune's Lucid pack, and a little bit of my own artwork as well. Um, but basically, it's uh, it's painterly and some other stuff. So, like I said, credit goes out to those guys. I'm jumping on a tree, and I'm gonna die bomb sheep. Goodbye. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helped.